happening guys, another Quick Tip Tuesday here. So today we're talking about a little housekeeping here in DaVinci Resolve. Sometimes you might want to think about cleaning up your cache files, as well as those optimized media files on projects that maybe you're done with and, uh, you know, maybe you're not going to go back to it. So why would you want to clean up all these files? Well, the main reason, at least for me, is because it takes up a ton of space on my computer or my external hard drive. So recently I went through, had to delete out all the cache files because my uh, external hard drive was getting full and I couldn't write to it anymore and I only had a few projects on it. I was like, what's going on here, right? So when I went to go delete all this stuff, I was emptying out the trash bin, there's over 200,000 files in there. I was like, man, I gotta do that a little more often, huh? So really the reason that you wanna do it is save space on your hard drives or on your machine. But two, I found that sometimes things get a little wacky when you're uh, having DaVinci Resolve like work with the render cache and it kind of renders that stuff in the background. And sometimes I just run into some weird issues where it's just not working good, you know? So let's jump into Resolve and uh, I'm gonna show you how to delete that stuff, to kind of free up some space, and then uh, maybe allow DaVinci Resolve to recreate those files if something seems a little wacky and playback is a little weird. So let's check this out. So in DaVinci Resolve here, the render cache that I'm talking about is uh, when you see these little lines above your clips here, blue means it's rendered out and red means it's in the process of rendering. So, you know, this particular file is uh, my new crash course coming up. So I've got lots of stuff in here that, uh, you know, need to pre-render. And when I come to the playback menu, I have render cache and I have this clicked on smart. So that way DaVinci Resolve is going to decide what it kind of renders in the background for me. But what happens, say, when I'm done with the project or I need to clean out files? There's a few ways that you can do that. One way is if you're in a particular project, you can just come to the playback menu and come to delete render cache and select all right here. But the problem with that is you got to go through every single project and who wants to spend the time to do that, right? So I typically don't use optimized media in my projects because I don't really need it at this point in time. But I do use those render cache files and that seems to help out quite a bit. So instead of going through project by project, here's the shortcut on how I do it. I just get rid of them all at one time. So you want to find where they are on your hard drive. Now, if you're not sure where they are, the first place you can take a look is if you come to DaVinci Resolve Preferences, in preferences, go to system, media storage, and right here, wherever you have that set, maybe it's the default location or could be like mine where I changed the directory to where I want, uh, that's gonna be where those render cache files are saved. Now, if you change it on a project basis, so this is like a global setting, they will always put them here unless you change them on a project level. So cancel out of here. If we come down to our little cog down here, open this guy up and under master settings for this project, if I scroll down, we have working folders. So if you made any changes here, that's where those cache files are gonna live. And you can see cache files location. Now I didn't change anything for this project specifically. So it's gonna be in that location we saw in preferences. And I'm gonna look for that cache clip folder. So if I go ahead and navigate to my external hard drive, I've got DaVinci Resolve working folders or working files. And right here's my cache clip. Now this is pretty emptied out because I just did it the other day. And uh, as I think I mentioned, I had like almost 200,000 files that got deleted out of here. Cause when you look in these things, it's just a whole bunch of files that, you know, eh, don't really mean much to me at this point in time. Here's a quick little bonus tip for you. If you want to know what project each one of these crazy folders with all the weird numbers is associated with, all you got to do is click on the folder and inside there, there's a text file called info.txt. And you can see a little preview here on my screen. It tells me the database that it's in and it tells me the project name. So if you're ever curious, you don't want to delete a particular project, you can check out that info.txt file and make sure you don't get rid of anything that you might want to keep. So that's super helpful to know when you're looking at these folders with all these crazy wacky numbers. But what you can do is you can just come in and generally for some reason I've been leaving the audio folder, but every other folder in here with all these weird numbers and all that, you can just select all of them and just delete them and move them to the trash. So that's it, clearing out the cache files, a little housekeeping here. You gotta keep your files organized, keep your hard drives clean, right? Get rid of the stuff you don't need. Just keep it easy and simple, right? So that's it today, guys. If you like this little tip here, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And, oh, hit that bell button. Always forget the bell. You gotta hit the bell, otherwise you're not gonna get notified when I put out a video, right? Gotta hit that bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.